Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. We're going to play another game from the Kali Shremsky 1961 Rookie Season Career Replay. Um, game number 53. Now, they split a double header with the uh, Angels yesterday, snapping a three game losing streak. But as you can tell by the dots and dashes around the pitcher's mound, that uh, Bill Mamboquet is on the hill for the Red Sox, as his name won't fit in there. So, uh, Bill Mamboquet on the hill. And he comes in with a record of 2-7 and seven in the replay. 14-14 um, and 14 on the actual season. A 4.01 earner on average. 74 innings pitched. 17 walks and 58 strikeouts. So, he'll be opposed by Ron Moeller for the Angels. And this is a game which the Angels won. So, if the Red Sox can... Uh, can win this one. They can gain a game back. Uh, get closer to their actual pace right now. They're actually 25 and 26. So they're four games off the pace. So for the Red Sox. The usual defense there. Yastrzemski in left. Hardy in center. Jensen in right. Hardy and Yastrzemski average. Jensen above average. All with above average arms. And Jensen, the most shorthanded of the three. In the infield, Melzone, Budden, Schilling, and Wirtz uh, in the infield after uh, Reynolds got a start uh, in the game two of the doubleheader yesterday. So all average range except for Schilling is above average. Um, Pagaroni behind the plate again. Above average in um, range and pass ball rating, and Bill Mamboquet above average. I mean, uh, excellent range on the mound and uh, low error rating. Pagliarone extremely high error rating behind the plate with above below average arm. So the lineup for the Los Angeles Angels: Rocky Bridges is getting the start at short, in batting first. Lee Thomas, the right fielder, bat second. Leon Wagner. Batting third, so much different lineup than, yes, than the second game of the doubleheader. Ted Kluziski batting cleanup, at playing first. Ken L. Hunt batting fifth, playing center. Ken Aspromani at short, I mean at second base, batting sixth. Gene Leak, the third baseman, batting seventh. Ed Sadowski behind the plate, batting eighth. And on the hill, batting ninth, Ron Moeller. So Rocky Bridges will lead it off. Hit 240 on the season with two homers, 15 runs batted in. So Mambo Cat looks in for the sign from Pags. There's the wind up in the pitch. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. But in over to Wirtz for out number one. Next up, Lee Thomas. Lee Thomas, 285 hitter for the season, 24 homers, 70 runs batted in. And Lee Thomas is going to take Mambo Get deep, going, going, and gone. So Lee Thomas will hit a home run and put the Angels on top, one nothing. So Leon Wagner up now. Wagner could go back to back with 280, 28 homers, and 79 runs batted in. Mambo Cat very susceptible to righties, not so much to lefties, but to righties definitely. It's a long ball, so a possible error on the ground, 5-4. And that's going to be a fly out to Jensen and right for out number two. So Ted Klazuski up now, 243 hitter, 15 homers, 39 runs batted in. And he will take ball three, next pitch, and he'll pop it up to the first baseman. Wurtz will make the catch to end the inning, but... The Angels get on the board first on the solo home run by Lee Thomas. So bottom of the first, Ron Muller on the hill. Defense behind him is going to be Wagner in left, Hunt in center, Thomas in right. Wagner below average range, Hunt average, and Thomas above average. Wagner with below average arm and Hunt and Thomas average arms. In the infield, it's going to be Leak, Bridges, Aspromani, and Klazuski. Kind of got extremes there at third base, Leak, excellent. Range and Kozuski at first, uh, well below average for just a one rating. Um, Bridges below average range and at s short, and Espermani above average at second 
uh, with fairly high error ratings there. Sadowski behind the plate, average range, above average pass ball rating with extremely high error rating like Pagliaroni. And Muller on the hill, average range and a high error rating of 20 there. So not the greatest defense there for the Angels. And uh, Fenway Park, as we didn't mention before, is uh, minus 2 to strikeouts and plus 2 to walks, so more susceptible to walks and less to strikeouts. So the Red Sox lineup is as follows. Chuck Schilling lead it off and plays second. Carol Hardy, the center fielder, bats second. Kyle Shremsky, the rookie in left field, bats third. Jackie Jensen batting cleanup will hit fourth. Frank Malzone, third baseman, fifth. Jim Pagoni, sixth behind the plate. Vic Wirtz back in the lineup at batting seventh, playing first. And Don Button at short, batting eighth. And Mamba Ken on the hill bats ninth. So Kyle Shremsky had a couple of hits yesterday in an RBI. So, Schilling to lead it off. Schilling had a good day yesterday, too. Schilling's average up to 252 now with three homers, 13 runs batted in. So, Muller looks in for the sign from Sadowski. Here's the windup in the pitch. Range play right off the bat. And that is going to be a, let's see, possible fly up. Let's check the range play. And Hunt will get to it and make the catch for out number one. So Carol Hardy up now. Hardy hitting 250 with three homers, 10 runs batted in. Hardy getting a start in center. Geiger with the day off. 4-5. And he will not get hit by the pitch. Next pitch. And that is going to be a double off Moeller. So Carol Hardy with a one-out double. Yastrzemski with an RBI opportunity. Yastrzemski's average up to 215 now. Four homers, 28 runs batted in. Pitch to Yastrzemski. And he will take a ball in the next pitch. And that's going to be a fly out to wide nine left. And Hardy will hold for out number two now. So Jackie Jensen, an opportunity here, hitting 307 with four homers, 24 runs batted in. And he will take a strike, full count now. And he flies out to left end the inning. So nothing doing for the Red Sox. And after one full. No score here at Fenway Park. All righty, top of the second. one nothing, Los Angeles. We'll get back out on the hill. Ken L. Hunt up now. Hunt hitting 469 against the Red Sox with a home run. Five runs batted in 10 games. 255 hitter, 25 homers, 84 runs on the actual season. Pitch by Mambo Cat. And that is going to be a base hit off his card. So lead off runner is on. Ken Aspromani up now. 237 hitter against the Red Sox so far this year. That RBI, 224 with two homers, 19 runs batted in. And that is going to be a base hit. Hunt will stop at second. So the first short is on for the Angels here in the Top of the second, trying to add to their one run lead. Gene Leak up now. Leak a 226 hitter, five homers, 20 runs batted in. Has a homer against the Red Sox so far. Oops. Sacrifice. We're going to go for the sacrifice. That's going to be a 6 2. Fouls it off. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll redo it. Five four. Fouled it off, and no, he's got two strikes now, so he will not. So unable to get the sacrifice down is Leak. And that's going to be a base hit. And Malzone cannot get to it. And they're going to hold the runner at third, Hunt, with nobody out. So that'll load the bases with nobody out. Red Sox up. going to play back for two. Sadowski in there now. Sadowski, 232 hitter for the season. Four homers, 12 runs batted in. 6-1. And that strikeout would be nice. Oh, it does not get the strikeout. Gets the ball instead. So full count. And that's going to be a line out right back to Mambo Cat. And they're going to double up the runner on first. 
So Gene Leak, Mambo Cat, makes the catch on the liner, and Leak got a little too far off the bag. He's able to whirl around and get him at first. So alert play by Mambo Cat. So Mambo Cat could get out of that, the jam with no damage if he can get the pitcher here, Moeller. Moeller is a 207 hitter, so not an automatic out with two runs batted in. So here we go. Oh, possible home run. Wow. Nope. That would have been a possible home run against the left-handed batter 1 and 2. But thankfully, it's not the right-handed batter. Although, Moeller does not have any home run ability. So, wouldn't have mattered. So, he picked the right batter to have this happen to. So, ground out to short. And that will end the inning. So, Mambo Kek gets out of the bases loaded. Nobody out jam. Hopefully the Red Sox can answer now with Melzone, Pagaloni, and Wirtz up now. Melzone hitting 321 with five homers, 32 runs batted in. Having a good season so far. And that's going to be a fly out to Wagner left. So Wagner busy out there so far. Pagaroni up now. Pagaroni hitting 315 on the young season with five homers, 24 runs batted in. And that's going to be a fly out to Thomas and right. So two up and two down in the Red Sox second. Brings up Dick Wirtz. Vic Wirtz. Sorry, you can call him Dick Wirtz. Vic Wirtz. 260. A 2.45 on the uh, act on the replay with seven homers, 19 runs batted in. So after a good start, power wise, and it's going to be a foul ball. Gets back in the box. Moeller delivers, and no, nope, he avoids getting hit by the pitch. Next pitch, and he flies out to Wagner to end the inning. So the Red Sox go one, two, three, and after two full, one nothing, Angels. Top of the order, Bridges up. Bridge is 0 for 1 so far. And Boquette kicks and delivers. And that's going to be a fly out to Yastrzemski, and he will make the play. Make the catch for out number 1. Lee Thomas up now. He homered to put the Angels on top back in the first. And oh, Mamboquette thought he had strike 3. And that's going to be a ground ball to Schilling. He takes it over to Wirtz for out number two. So Wagner up now. Mambo Kett trying to have a 1-2-3 inning after escaping a bases loaded nobody out jam last inning. And he will do that as he flies out to Jensen to end the inning. So the Angels go 1-2-3 in top of the third. So home half of the third. Red Sox down by a run. But to lead it off. But in hitting 273 with six homers, uh, with no homers and 19 runs batted in. Had six homers on the actual season. So still looking for his first. And he will draw the walk. The Red Sox have the leadoff man here on the top of the bottom of the third. And Mambo Kett is going to three rating for a bunt. So Mambo Kett is going to sacrifice. And Moeller is all over the place and walks him. So they put runners on first and second with nobody out for Chuck Schilling. Chuck Schilling's got a four bunt rating, so Chuck Schilling is going to be called upon to sacrifice here. So he will sacrifice. See if he can get a couple runners in scoring position. Oh, lead runner is thrown out. So unable to get the... A good bunt down. Bunted it too hard. Back to the pitcher. Moeller turns around and throws it to Bridges, who is covering. So, not a good start here. As they go with the fielder's choice. So, first and second, as Mambo Kett is now at second and Schilling at first. So Carol Hardy has a double in the day. See if he, nice if we get a base hit here. 2-2, two, two. and he'll strike out for out number two. So up to the rookie here, 
Danny is to continue. Oh, for one so far. And your strength. Oh, it would have been a lefty. Would have had a hit off of him, but does not. And so he'll ground out to short to end the inning. So the Red Sox unable to do anything. Despite getting the first two runners on. So we head to the fourth with still one nothing Angels. So it's Klazuski to lead it off. Klazuski 0 for 1. And Klazuski, oh, just got beyond. Thankfully, it's, if it were in a righty, it could have been a home run. But it's to a lefty, so it will not be. And he'll ground one back to Mambo Cap for out number one. Hunt up now. Singled his first at bat. And he'll fly out to Hardy for out number two. Aspermani singled his first at bat also. Possible error check here. And that's going to be a base hit. So a two-up base runner. Brings up Leak. Leak singled in his first at bat. Leak with a home run opportunity here. If we can get a one through six, it'll be a two run homer for Leak. And no, it's an 11, so he will not get it. And it'll be a foul ball. And the next pitch, he pops up. He hits a, I'm sorry, it's a ground ball to Melzone. He'll go the short way over to second, and that will do it. All right, so we head to the bottom of the fourth. The Red Sox still trailing by one. It'll be Jensen, Melzone, and Paglaroni if anybody gets on Wirtz. <clears throat> Jensen 0 for 1. Moore looks in for the sign of Sadowski. Kicks and delivers. And then he'll fly out to Hunt and center for out number one. Frank Melzone up now, 0 for 1 also. Red Sox exploded for eight runs yesterday. Not much show for today so far. And it's going to be a range check on Wagner. Unable to get to it. Falls in front of him. He'll play it safe. And Melzone will reach with a one-out single. Paglaroni up now. Paglaroni 0 for 1. And Paglaroni with a possible... No, it's not going to be. It's going to fall outside the range. And it would have been off on his card anyway. Instead, he will fly out deep to, to right, and Thomas will make the catch. And Melzone will trot back to first. So two down now for Vic Wirtz. Wirtz 0 for 1. And Wirtz with a home run opportunity. And Wirtz is going to go going, going, and gone. So Dick Vic Wirtz It's a two-run homer. Just about, I was thinking in my head that he, you know, he could put us ahead and he does it here with a home run to right. So Thomas can just watch that one go, and that'll put the Red Sox on top 2-1. to one. Finway fans happy about that one. So Don Button up now. Button walked his first time up. So that'll waken the, waken the Finway faithful. And that is going to be a strikeout. I'm sorry, a single. So, button on with a two-out single. Brings up Mambo Cat. He walked his first time up. And he will walk again. So, Mambo Cat getting himself on base. Pushes the runner in scoring position. Red Sox would like to add on to their lead here. Chuck Schilling, 0 for 2. Was unable to get the sacrifice bunt down his last time up. And he got the lead runner out. Well, he was able to get it down, but bunted it too hard. And possible wild pitch. No, no wild pitch. And no, he does not. He takes a strike. Schilling thought he had ball four. Next pitch. And that will be a fly out to right to end the inning. But the Red Sox go on top with a two-run homer by Vic Wirtz. So it's 2-1 Boston. So Mambo Kent now with a run-run lead. Sadowski up now over for one. Yeah. 
And he will fly out the center. Hardy calls for it and makes the catch for out number one. Moeller up now. Moeller off for one. And Moeller will ground out the short and button up with it over to Wurtz for out number two. So two up and two down in the top of the fifth. It brings up Rocky Bridges over two. And he'll take a strike, strike two now. Next pitch, and he'll get himself a two out base hit. So Bridges on for the first time today. Two out single, brings up Lee Thomas, who homered to put the Angels on top back in the first. And he takes ball three. Next pitch, he'll ground out to Budden, he'll go the short way. Flips it to Schilling to end the inning. So halfway through, it's Red Sox two and Angels one. Hardy up there now, one for two with a double. There is action in the Angels bullpen as Moe is getting close to his batter's face amount here. So Carol Hardy's going to strike out for out number one. And it'll bring up Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski hitless on the day, 0 for 2. And he'll strike out the first time. And he goes 0 for 3 now. So Jackie Jensen, also hitless on the day. And he takes ball three. And the next pitch will ground out to Kozuski to end the inning. So after five full, it's Red Sox two and Angels one. Ron Boquette, still plenty of gas left in the tank here. He'll face Wagner, Kozuski and Hunt. Wagner 0 for 2. So after um, Fornilis is complete game, be nice to get possible back-to-back -back complete games. Could happen here. Definitely giving the bullpen a rest, and that's not going to be an error. And that will be a line out to fly out to right, and Jensen will make the catch for out number one. Kozuski up now. Kozuski hitless on the day. It's 0 for 2. And he'll take ball three. And that's going to be a ground ball to Melzone over to Wirtz for out number two. So the first two retired here in the visitor six brings up Ken L. Hunt. He's one for two on the day. And he'll take a strike. Three and two the count now. And he's going to get himself a double. So a two out double for Hunt. So a tying run in scoring position for Aspermani who's having a good day today. Two for two. And he strikes him out. Rastramon does not strike out that often, but Mom Boquette gets one in on the corner, unable to pull the trigger, and that will be it for the Angels on the top of the six. So, key sh strikeout there for Mom Boquette. It remains 2-1 Boston as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Well, that's going to be it for Moeller as... Russ Heeman, pitch inning, is going to come in to pitch. So Moeller's day is done. Heeman in there now. Heeman has that pitch two innings against the Red Sox, allowing one run, one hit, a walk. In actual season, he was he had one save, 270 area in 20 innings, 12 hits allowed, 10 walks, and 6 strikeouts. So can get wild at times. So Melzone, one for two with a run scored, steps in the box. And no, it's not going to be a home run. It's going to be a ground out to short. Bridges over to Klazuski for out number one. So Pagroni up now. Pagroni looking for his first hit of the day. And he'll draw the walk, so he'll reach first via the walk. So one out base runner. Red Sox looking to add to their lead. Vic Wirtz up. He had a two-run home run in his last at-bat. Now has eight on the season. See what he can do here. Fenway Park check. And that's going to be a base hit for Wirtz. Pagoni will hold that second. Not much speed there. So first and second with one down for Don Budden. 
He's one for one with a walk. Takes a ball. Next pitch. And this is going to be, oh, too high. So he'll fly out to center. And Padroni will hold. So it's up to Mambo Cat here. Do they keep him in? I think they do. That Mambo Cat's going to stay in. He's walked twice so far. Still has plenty of gas in the tank. And Mambo Cat with a chance here. One five. Oh, just missed a double there. One six would have been a double. And instead, he'll ground out to short 10 in the inning. So we head to the seventh. The Red Sox clinging to a one run lead. Leak one for two up to the plate. Oh, and it's going to be a Finley Park check here. Now it's going to be a double. Oh boy, so tying run in scoring position with nobody out for Sadowski 0 for 2. And he's going to be called upon the sacrifice. Bunted too hard. Proceed as you would any ground ball. So it looks like they'll. Where did he, who did he bunt it to, though? The first. I think that's going to get the runner over. No, it's not. Field this choice. So I look to run it back to second and go to... Th Hold on there. I did something wrong there. All right, so this is what we got. Bunted too hard. Proceed as you would any grounded ball... Any ground... Ground... GDP. <laughs> ground ball double play. Okay, so... What does that mean? So I think he's going to hold there. So the bunt. Okay, so here we go. So he's going to hold that second. And we're going to get him at first. The field is choice. Okay, then I hit GDP. That's what I was supposed to hit. Okay, so there you go. So that's it. So it's going to be a double play. So leaks out at third and out at first. That's what it said. So that's what I'm going by. Alrighty. So Red Sox get out of it. Bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch time here at Finway. Take me out to the ball game. Chuck Schilling 0 for 3. And that's going to be it for him. And he just pitched one inning in the actual game. So Jim Donahue pitched three innings in the actual game. So he will come on the pitch now. So Jim Donahue has not fared so well against the Red Sox. One save, though. 5.09 earn run average. Five and a third innings pitch. Seven hits allowed. One walk, three strikeouts. Five and seven in the actual season with six saves. 420 ERA. 120 innings pitch. 116 hits allowed. 58 walks and 99 strikeouts. So Schilling deleted off. And he'll take a call. Strike two. Next pitch. It's going to be a fly out to Wagner. So Kara Hardy, one for three with a double. Oh, not a base hit. But it'll be a base hit off of Hardy's card. So Hardy on for the second time today. So one out single for Yastrzemski. And uh, looks like Hardy's going to try to steal here. And he will make it. So Carl Hardy with a scoring... With a steal now in scoring position for the rookie Stremski. See if he can come through. And he will ground out to second. That'll get the runner over. But now with two outs. So Jackie Jensen. So, so a pass ball or a wild pitch could get the run home. Jackie Jensen 0 for 3 on the day. But Donnie, he looks in, Donnie looks in for the sign. Looks at the runner. Kicks and delivers. And, oh, no, too high. That would have been a one through six. That would have been a home run for Jensen. But instead, it's going to be a fly ball to the warning track. Wagner makes the catch to end the inning. So the Red Sox unable to take advantage of it. And it remains a 2-1 game as we head to the eighth. Mambo Cat back out there again. And he has an error to 6.3 innings pitched. <laughs> so 3-2. And that's going to be a base hit for Bridges. 
So lead off tying run is on board for Lee Thomas. One for three with a home. Oh, hit run. Three one. And he will strike out. And so he's going to be forced to steal, and he will advance to second. So a stolen base for Bridges on the botched hit and run. But Bridges had enough speed to get there ahead of the throw of Pagaroni. So time run in scoring position for Wagner is 0 for 3. And he's going to draw the walk. So first and second for Kozuski 0 for 3. Maybe not the best, maybe not the worst strategy. Setting up a force at any base. And, ooh, Kozuski takes a call third strike. Not happy with that one at all. And Mambo Keck gets another big strikeout. So only three strikeouts on the day, but he's made him count. So Hunt up there now. He's two for three with a double. And now they're going to let Mambo Keck stay in there. I think they will. It's his game to lose. Three, four. Oh, no. And that's going to be, ooh, thank goodness he is a righty. 3-4, and that is going to be a ground ball to short. Button up with it over to Wartz, and they get out of it. Another jam on Boquette works around. 2-1 to one as we head to the home half of the eighth. The Red Sox would love to tack on at least another run. Donahue back out there. Melzone, 1-3 for three with a run scored. And he'll take a ball three. Next pitch, and that's going to be a ground ball to leak over to Klazuski for out number one. Pagaroni over for 2 for the walk. And he'll draw another walk. And he is going to get replaced here. In the actual game, I think he was pinch ran for. He was not, but they did have the other catcher, Russ Nixon, come into the game. So, let's see here. Billy Harrell. Did come in and pinch run, and Billy Harrell has good base running speed. So we're going to have Billy Harrell come in and pinch run for Pagliaroni. So Russ Nixon will, we'll see, it'll be Nixon or Ginsburg. Ooh, Ginsburg. Russ Nixon, horrible range. But we got to take a chance here, try to tack on a run here. So, oops, I thought we, wait a second. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that. No. Oh, man. So Pagaroni's going to get a single a walk. Okay. So I did the wrong batter there. I meant to do the base runner. Okay. So now we'll have Pagaroni walk. We'll just go with... Where was it? All right. Yeah, that'll be all right. No, that's not it. All right there. Okay. So I have him walk. All right. So now we want to go on here. That's what we want to do. So Billy Harrell. There we go. So Harrell, the pinch run for Pagaroni. Wurtz in there now. Wurtz, two for three with a homer and a single. Two runs batted in. And he's going to pop up the first, so that will not get the job done. And we're going to have, yeah, we're going to let Harold try to steal. And he will make it. So Harold in scoring position. So Don Button, big run there at second base, one for two with a walk. And he takes ball three. And he'll line out to third. So Red Sox unable to tack one on. And who are we going to put in there? Uh, I think we got to put in Ginsburg because Ginsburg has zero for an error rating. I could put in Don Guile here. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he's got an average arm. We'll go with Ginsburg. Guile, though, has got a better pass ball rating, so let's go with Guile. Okay. He is going to be catcher. There we go. All right. So guy behind the plate, not much range. Average three pass ball rating, no errors though, and an average arm. So, so Mambo Cat. Oh boy, 
he's getting really tired up here. Hold on. All right, sorry, I forgot to uh, put it back on after I just decided about my new cat. I decided to leave him in there. Unfortunately, we had a couple of things happen. We had, uh, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what happened here, but, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Aspromani walked, then Leak single to right, and Aspromani went to third, and he was injured going to third, and Melzone got injured too. Melzone is going to be out for six games, and Aspromani is out for a little while now. So, um, I'm going to check and see who to bring in now for at second. See if they use somebody in the game that played second. No, they didn't. So I'm going to bring in Billy Moran. He's got better. He's better defensively. Oh, boy. That's going to put first and second. Third, though, with nobody out now. So this is not good for the Red Sox. So Marble Kett's got to come out now. Ah. <sighs> Trying to get the squeeze. Uh, I guess I got. I got to bring it early now. Oh boy. Okay. Double switch. Do we want to do a double switch? I can't remember who we had on last. I think we do though. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, I can't remember. Uh, maybe I didn't want to do a double switch. Okay. Maybe I don't. Alright. So let's just see. Make sure. What do we get now? Okay. Now we'll just, we just won't make the double switch. Alright. So now we still we have to get rid of Melzone. Oh, now we're messed up here. Now it's showing the defense for the other team. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright. So... Let me go into this right here. See if can I switch him out? Yeah, I gotta switch him out now. So my zone is injured, so this will maybe fix it. So I gotta bring in Pete Runnels to play. He's not the greatest, but okay. No. Okay. Alright, so now we're good here. So we definitely took a hit at third base there. We're gonna have to bring the infield in now. Come on, let me know. All right. So run is at the corners. And Gene Leak is going to go with the squeeze, it says here. So we're going to go with it. That's what it says. So Sadowski in there. He hit into a double play last time he tried to get a bunt down. Hopefully he'll do the same thing again. 6-2. So bunted. Defense choice. Retire batter or attempt to get runner from third. I think we have to. Well, 1D6 versus the base runner. Yeah, because he's going to get a zero here. Because he had to come in for Aspromonte. Oh, boy. What a mess. Uh, so how do I make that choice, though? I think i got to hit bunt. Yes, we'll tire the batter. Click no to get the runner from third. We're going to hit no. And we're going to get... We're going to force out. It's not really a force out, but we can't go a throw out. So he is going to be out going home. He'll advance to second. And he'll reach. So the Red Sox still in trouble, though. It's not as bad now, though. They did bring the infield in. They deal with that, though. All right, so O'Donohue is going to come out now. I mean, Donahue. And who was used in the game? Ardell, I think, was used in the game. Yeah, hold on. No, Avril. Sorry, Avril. Yeah, Avril's 266 hitter, 21 homer, so he makes sense to use him. All right, so Avril in there now, trying to be the hero. He's a righty, too, so. All right, so really trying to get the save for Mambo Cat. First and second, Finway f faithful on their feet. Avril comes in 266, 21 homers, 59 runs bad in for the season. And that's going to be a fly out to right. Left, Yastrzemski makes the catch. Oh, and that's going to be a special K, actually. Because when you match here, it's actually a strikeout, and it doesn't, it overrides that. 
the special K for early. So cool. So he gets the strikeout. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on here? Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> so I did the double out there, and you can't go back now because the game's over. Ah, that sucks. That is definitely one of the shortcomings of this game. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I'm just going to have to assume they get out of it. It's nothing else I can do. Nothing else I can do here. Hold on. Maybe there is. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, I don't want to save it. Hold on here. Ah. Uh. Man, I'm in a dilemma now. If I start the game over and it isn't saved, then I'm going to be screwed. Well, I'm going to I'm going to exit. Because there is a save, so maybe it will go back to the last batter. Hold on, I think I can, I, I, I don't think it'll, let's go to load game here. I think we can get back to right before that happened. That was kind of screwy. Let's see if we can get back to that point there. I think we should be able to. Yeah, I should have auto save there. Before the game is over. Come on. Yeah, I definitely do not get these frustrations with other games. <laughs> Just inside pitch. But I do still like the game, but even though it's got these little quirks here in the programming. Still a good game. Come on. Should still load it. Hold on, I'm going to pause it for a second. All right, we were able to get back to it here, so let's see if I can capture that moment again. Oh, man, I don't know. It was a special K, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to duplicate that. I guess I think I can. Okay, so there you go. So now I'm going to hit the special K. Okay, so now it's two outs. So now we're back to where we should be. All right, so Rocky Bridges, two for four. Still not out of it yet here. So run is still on first and second, tying run in scoring position. And now we're going to get the fly out to left. All right, so there you go. Woo, so a controversial game here at Fenway Park, but... We played it the best we could there. And the Red Sox hold on to win 2-1. to one. That was scary when they had first and third with nobody out, but due to the injury to Aspermani, we had to bring in a pinch runner there. And the Red Sox hold on. So let's take a look at the box score now. So Bob Moquette goes to 3-7. and seven. And again, this got messed up here. <laughs> it says he pitches 6.6 .6 innings. So it does that sometimes where it just keeps going points instead of going to the next inning of 7. Like it should have at the 6 and 2 thirds. It went 6.3, then 6.4, then 6.5, 6.6. So he actually pitched 8 innings. So, But this records at a 6.6. .6. So there's definitely an error in the database there somewhere. So 10 hits, one run. It was earned. Two walks, three strikeouts. Arnold Early came in to get his third save. Again, controversial play at third. When it was first and third, nobody out. And Billy Moran came in, and he does not have bad speed. So, no, oh, he doesn't have great speed either. Probably similar to Asport. Asper Marnie would have had. So, it was. It would have been even. 
because we wouldn't have pinch ran for him then. But due to the injury, he had to bring in Moran, and he was using, wasn't used in the game, but um, the injury needed that. But unfortunately, we're going to lose Malzone for six games now. So the Red Sox did not pay the price with the victory. So Ron Moeller go. 0-2 against the Red Sox. Five innings pitch, four hits, two runs, both of them earned. Three walks, three strikeouts. So he did pitch a good game. Uh, Russ Heeman, one inning pitched, one hit, one walk. Jim Donahue, two innings pitched, one hit, and one walk also. Scoreless inning. So nice relief work by, um, by the uh, Angels also. So for the Red Sox, Chuck Schilling 0 for 4, Carol Hardy 2 for 4 with a double and stolen base. Kyle Stremski 0 for 4, Jackie Jensen 0 for 4, Malzone 1 for 4 with a run scored and six game injury. Jim Pagaroni 0 for 2 with a pair of walks though. Billy Harrell did not, pinch ran did not get that bat. Vic Wirtz, the hero of the day. Two for four with a run scored and knocked in both Red Sox runs. One with a home run. Right, actually, both with a home run. Two run homer. Uh, Don Budden, one for three with a walk. Bill Mamboquet, 0 for one, but did have two key walks. Definitely drove up the pitch count of the Angels of Moeller. Arnold Early did not get in that bat. Don Guile came in to catch and did not get for Paglaroni. Did not get in that bat. So for the Angels, Rocky Bridges 2 for 5 with a stolen base. Lee Thomas 1 for 4 with a solo homer. Put the Angels on top in the first, but that was all they would score. Leon Wagner 0 for 3. Klazuski 0 for 4. Kennel Hunt 2 for 4 with a double. Aspromani 2 for 3. Unfortunately, he was injured for the game. Uh, in the ninth, well, just for the last play there. But that was key because he might have had more speed than Moran did. But unfortunately, we'll never know that. Uh, as the runner was thrown at home during the squeeze play. It was one of the perils of the squeeze play there. Gene Leak, 3 for 4 with a double. Ed Sadowski, 0 for 4. Ron Muller, 0 for 2 at the plate. Heeman and Donnie did not get at bats. And Earl Averill struck out in his pinch hit at bat. But the Red Sox will hold on and win. By a score of 2-1. to one, and Now have won two in a row. And now are 22-51. and 51. So just three games off of their pace. Three less wins at this point. Let's see here. So that is it. So thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next Kai Shremsky career replay. When I believe they're playing the Angels one more time. Although sometimes they... They have a weird schedule where they start with another team on Sunday back in the 60s. But we'll see. But anyway, the Red Sox are going to go for three in a row. So take care, and we'll see you in the next Kali Shremsky career replay video. Bye-bye now.